Michael, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God, who chose God has given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his people. He now anoints you as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. May you live always in him, sharing an everlasting life. Parents and Godparents, this light has been entrusted to you to be kept burning. Your child is a child of light. When the Lord comes again, may Michael go out to meet him with all the saints in heaven and keep. May the Lord send his peace upon all gathered here. My brothers and sisters, I present to you Michael, a child of light. Sorry, excuse me for one more minute. Uh, Mr. Morgan, if you ever have another baptism, I would suggest you have all your guests arrive before the ceremony. What now, a hit squad? Worse, Carly's back. Ah, uh, I'm interrupting. Well, it's, it's the baby's baptism. I didn't know you were coming. I would have waited. It's fine. No, it's not. We're almost finished. And I think the priest has to bless him again. Do you, you want to hold him for it? Uh, no. I'm not just going to sit right here. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Jason, ask Carly to join you at the altar. She doesn't want to. child's mother like to join us? Uh, no. Does she object to Michael being baptized? No, no, she's fine with it. She just doesn't want to be up here. If that's her wish. You're a very patient young man. We're almost finished. By God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn into everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to send his blessings to his sons and daughters that are his, and may he keep them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. And may he send his peace on all who are gathered here. In Christ Jesus our Lord, amen.
Can you watch him for a minute? I got some things to take care of. Of course. And don't let them anywhere near him. Yeah. We won't. I assume that you've run out of money. That's the reason you're back here. You obviously feel nothing for the child. You don't know anything about me. I know you drugged one of my sons and abandoned the other one along with your child. So, Carly, why don't you do Jason and the baby a big favor? Leave again. This time, permanently. Uh, Carly is not going anywhere. You should. This is none of your business. Yes, it is, Jason. And the longer you're a parent, the better you'll understand it. Why are the Quartermains here? They, uh, they followed Emily. You sure? They don't know. They're so sure I'm the father, they tried to steal the baby away from me. But look, he's fine. How'd you get here? I flew in this morning. I guess I probably should have warned you, but I figured by now you're used to me just showing up. Anyway, I called the penthouse and that, uh, Graciela, Graciela. Yeah. she said that you weren't home. She sent a driver for me, and I, I told him to take me to you. I, I, I thought this must be a funeral or something. I had no idea it was a baptism until I saw you up on the thing there with the baby. Carly, it didn't seem fair to make him wait any longer for a name. So I named him Michael, after Sonny. Whatever you want. Well, yeah, and he's, he's doing fine. The incision has completely healed, and the doctor says he's in excellent health. I'll get him for you. No, no not with all these people around. Well, I'll get rid of him. No, Jason, don't. Look, um, just, just finish the day like you planned and pretend like I'm not even here, okay? Okay. okay. We should go. I'm not leaving here until I've held my great-grandson. Michael. You bite your tongue. Now, I promise you that within six months, I am going to have that baby away from Jason. And the day I do, his name is going to be changed to Edward Lewis Quartermain II. Sonny, for sure. Is that funny, Ned? He just named his son after a gangster. And now that Carly's back, God only knows what'll happen to this baby. Could I have everyone's attention? There is a reception this evening at Mr. Morgan's residence in honor of his son. All were invited. Not everyone. You did me the honor of attending Michael's baptism. I would like to include you in the reception as well. It would be my pleasure. Mr. Novotny will uh, give you the address and directions. Mr. Marino, come with me. I'll give you that information. You sure about this? Well, as long as we go through lawyers and intermediaries, I can't tell if he's lying. But I doubt if I want to blow up the penthouse while he's in it. I just to stay with him, because I want you there when we discuss the truce. Oh, I was planning on that. About the announcement, I assume you mean the Quartermains aren't invited? Exactly. Jason, please reconsider. I mean, if that man is going to come, the baby's family should be there as the well. The Quartermains aren't Michael's family. Does Carly agree? I guess. I, I, I haven't really asked her. May I? If you want. And you'll abide by her decision? She's Michael's mother. Hey, how's he doing? <clears throat> He's good. He's sleeping right now. <laughs> he was so good. Yeah. Jason said he'll go along with whatever you say. So if you say so, the quartermans can come. Why would I do that? Because it's best for your son. And whether Jason wants to admit it or not, they are Michael's family. All right, then. Go ahead. Invite him. I don't really care anyway. You're doing the right thing. You always seem to know what that is, don't you, Bobby? As it turns out, you're all invited back to the penthouse. So, I hope we'll see you there. Well, that's more like it. Hmm. If that criminal thinks that I'm going to grovel in order to get an invitation oh, to his... Oh, stop it, Edward. I don't care why Jason's invited us to his house. But I'm not going to have you wreck it. Monica's right. 
If you can't be civil, go take a cab. I will not. Reginald, bring the car around. Uh, actually, that would be up to Mrs. Quartermain to decide. We are going to the reception. Lila, please, be reasonable. All of us. Emily, you want to ride back? Um... With Carly and me? Oh, no, thanks. I'm going to go with my... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring the car around. Okay. Thank you for coming. I was glad to. Okay. Emily, can you um please put this with the other presents when we get to the penthouse? You're not going? I mean, I know you wouldn't want to, but no matter what Bobby does, my family's going to be horrible at the reception. Even worse than they were here because they're not at church. And well, if you're there, you can stop Jason from throwing them out. Besides, just because Carly's back doesn't mean you stop caring about Michael, right? Of course not. I... Okay, I'll come. Great, thanks. Come on, take my car. Okay. 